Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and uh, Virgo Rising. Weekly tarot reading for July 22nd to July 28th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we are to jump straight away uh, into the spread. All right, so the first card, which represents the very topic of your week, is going to be the full card, followed with the second one, which is the challenge that you will have to face and overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. Then the third card, which we do have, is going to be the Seven of Swords, and that is the positive aspect of the week. And then the last one that we do have for you, Virgo, which regards to the guidance here, that will be the Ten of Cups. So for what it seems, it's just when I saw these cards as aligning right now, I does look like that this time for a change, Virgo, you're going to do something that benefits yourself or you. You know, you're going to do something for yourself for a change this time around. But before we go to that, before we scrutinize the reading, let's... Um, run down the cards one more time and that should be pretty quick you know because it's uh it's pretty much anything could happen from this week moving on forward regarding the subject because this week is going to regard to a brand new beginning and the uh, options for you moving on forward with it are limitless simply with uh, with whatever you are starting as a brand new you can be as successful as um as you can be or as unsuccessful as you can be you know it's just you have the freedom of not only choice, but to do whatever you like. So the first one, once again, that is the topic. And we do have the full card followed by the second one, which is the challenge here. This is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Afterwards, we do have the Seven of Swords, which is the positive aspect. And then finally, that is going to be the guidance card. We have the Ten of Cups. All right. So... <clears throat> The full card, which stands at the start, needless to say, the full is always about new beginnings, but not exactly, all right? The full is number zero, and number zero stands in between two infinities, all right? The minus infinity and the plus infinity. The full represents the time just before the start, all right? When one makes up their goals, when one makes up their their dreams or fantasize about what one is going to be moving on forward into the future. And in this specific, um, at this specific time, one is not very prone to see the obstacles that one is going to face along the path. And that is a, a very enthusiastic period of time. So <clears throat> just to give you an example, let's say you're single and out of nowhere you are going, let's say, you are a woman and you go with your with a girlfriend of yours to have a cup of coffee in a cafeteria and simply 
some group of guys bump up to be randomly there and one of these guys very handsome one you know it's kind of like appears to be a friend of your girlfriend and they give you that nice smile they ask you how you are um, maybe you exchange phone numbers you know and what is going to happen from now on it's kind of unpredictable you know so and and, and it's not even a, a date yet so you are in this time where you just start fantasizing or making up you know what could be the best case scenario so this is how the week is going to go forward something like this is going to happen it could be as well and an opening to start a job it's just someone throws it out there you know i i may have a friend that has a uh, uh, an open job spot that probably is going to suit you very well and they are paying very good they are giving bonuses and so on and so forth and it's just something that you are going to start hoping for that itself <clears throat> is going to uh, make you much more it's not even the word is not much uh, even enthusiastic but let's say more detached from the seriousness of the everyday's routine you are going to start making much more friends based on this attitude you know because you're going to be carefree you're going to be joyful because the world is going to look very very bright throughout this week because you suddenly are going to realize that you know you're not stuck into one place and from now on you can do whatever you like and you can find the best way to grow in any kind of situation either regarding career or either regarding relationship wise the accompanied card here is going to be the nine of wands and the formation it is a uh, active uh, friends very good combo here because with this period of time it seems that you will have the luxury uh very good to make some conscious changes now conscious changes are very different from uh, changes in general you know conscious changes are changes that you have control upon you change the world exactly as you like it because you do have the opportunity to do so you do have the opening to do so you do have the luxury to do so as well with these cards and for those which are single oh, well it's kind of like um if we approach the Nine of Wands based on how Alistair Crowley describes the cards with the world, we do have a an active friends. We're definitely talking about love interest here, or it's not even it's not love interest, but it's more like a a, a chemistry type of interest. You meet you meet you meet a guy or a girl that you instantly get attracted to, and they get attracted to you too, because the Crowley describes the Nine of Wands as the necessity of the bondage in between two. All right, it's not the necessity, but the search. All right, the search how two opposites are seeking. For one another there the card is drawn in a different way but it's just i just throw it throwing this out there because it very very well fits the four cards narrative <clears throat> and uh then the next one is going to be the uh the challenges and we do have the person here knights of pentacles and that will be a, a companion of yours up until this very moment. But now because you realize or you are seeing that the world is so much wider than you thought a week ago, you are starting to consider different options available. You know, you're starting to consider different parts of paths for yourself. That person isn't very happy. I mean, they had a pretty good idea, you know, how you both are to proceed forward from here. They are pretty determined about their plans as well. They very well know what they want and somehow you are a part of their plan. And now this new vision of yours, uh, it's ruining things. It's not ruining, but it's jeopardizing things, all right, for this uh, person. Now, good thing is that this Knight of Pentacles is not very initiative and the worst case that I can say, let me draw one more card here. Yeah, the worst case that I could say is that they may become a bit more distant, all right? And you may not enjoy their, um, their company any longer because they will become cold, they will become as well withdrawn as well and somewhat also not polite at all. Uh, if they find out, you know, that you do have different goals and different aims or you do have, they, they're not exactly different. You can keep up with their goal and their aim, you know, but you, you just have additional ones that you are considering throughout the week that, 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 that are appearing throughout the week, which you are starting to consider. 
And then we go to the next one, which is the positive aspect here, and that is going to be the Seven of Swords. And as I said at the start of the reading, finally something happens that allows you to do something for yourself this time around. And this is what the Seven of Swords here represents. That it's not like disregarding, you know, other people's well-being, but it's more like recognizing, you know, that if you don't do something for yourself, no one else will. And that's unfortunate truth. If you don't take care for your own happiness, no one else will. I mean, well, yeah, someone may make you happy, but that is because they are happy of your happiness, all right? Because what they do makes them happy as well. No one is going to make themselves miserable to make you happy, okay? So that's that it's not, it's just not how the world functions. Or if there is such people, they are severely emotionally overburdened, brokenhearted, and etc., etc., and you don't want to be like this, all right? So this week as well could be a big wake-up call for you, Virgo, to realize that, oh my God, if I don't do something to be happy, no one is going to do it out of charity here. So uh, that itself could provoke a little bit of attention, all right, with the, seven of, uh, with the Seven of Swords. You may confront certain people, you may confront as well certain situations, or rather like situations, or rather like, rather like storm certain situations which you may find out, you know, that you are more on the downside than on the upper side, all right? But that is just a, a circumstantial um, consequences of the positive aspect of this card, Seven of uh, Swords. Then we do have the Magician and this combo, it is a active supporters and here we are seeing a huge determination. The more you think about these, so many options available in front of you and so many ways how you can uh, move forward, it's just, you know, you are going to become more and more, um, what was the word here? you will become more and more determined, you know, to do something for yourself, to maintain your personal sovereignty, to maintain your independence, you know, and in generally to charge, or it's not even charging, but progress forward with determination toward the goal that you chose for yourself. And then at, the, at last, we do have the uh, guidance and we do have the Ten of Cups. And here the Ten of Cups expresses one of the rarest uh, properties, which is also described by Alistair Crowley. And it is that no matter how much one, one has, one always discover that they can have more. Therefore, one always wants more, regardless of how much one has. Um, just to give you an example, let's say that uh, you were single two months ago, you have, uh, you have met that guy or a girl, it doesn't really matter. At that point you wanted, you never wanted anything else, you swore that you ain't gonna ask God, for example, for anything else. Uh, only if they make you being together with this person, all right? And suddenly that happened, but now two months later, that is not enough. I mean, you are thinking for even better things, you know, because this is not how life ends at the end of the day. So with the Ten of uh, Cups here, you need to think about how your life, either all of a sudden or slowly progressing, is going to maintain its sense of, uh, of worth, okay? And then the last one here is going to be the, uh, the Eight of Wands, the formation. It is a uh, passive uh, enemies, and that is actually a pretty good card here guys because even though you may be very thrilled you know of what the future holds for you you are not gonna be unreasonable it seems that you have learned a big lesson back in the days and now you know you are going to remind yourself of that lesson and you, even if you are feeling fuzzy you know that you do have that option to start a new job or to date with this person you ain't going to repeat the mistake of boldness and um premature actions back from the days because you are to recognize what are the risks and what are the positives or in other words what are the pros and what are the cons of if situation or when should i say a situation arise 
So yeah, that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for July uh, 22nd to July 28th. And I had this fly I'm going to kill right now because it's just, I don't know how it entered to my office. But yeah. All right. So yeah, I do apologize if you saw it. It's just there is a very big fly that I need to take care of right now. And uh, yeah, I, I hope that you enjoyed the reading and we're going to see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.